Hello anglers, I'm the Survival Vis, and welcome to Russian Fishing 4. As I've been covering Call of the Wild the Angler, this is probably the one game that has been constantly uh, put forward over and over and over again to check out and try out. And there's also been a lot of like warning preface with it, where it's almost like one of those games where it's like a part-time job in itself because of how hardcore it can be to try to go through and get the stuff through with it. So I'm probably not going to stick with the game like so full hardcore with it, but I do want to try checking out the fishing mechanics, see what all the praise is about, and try going through it with that there. It definitely sounds like it's one of those ones where I guess you can kind of think of it if you want to go hardcore like the Hunter Classic can be, where you can get everything through free to play, but you're going to have a pretty large grind ahead of you for some things here and there. But because of how constant there was for recommendations about like checking out the mechanics, how the fishing is, one of the best fishing games out there, I'm going to check it out myself as well and see what it's like. So we've got the tutorial we'll go through together and we'll see how we start off with this. Okay, so yeah, mouse to look around. Um, I feel like the mouse sensitivity is a little weird. Might have to change that. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to. Let me... Okay, this is a bit of an odd menu. Let me just see... Uh, controls. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, so let's just carry along and see. I wonder, is there a way just to... I guess not. I was just looking to see if there was a way to, like, turn off the chat in the left there. Okay. Well, let's just carry along like this and see what we can do. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I didn't do anything to, like, it just automatically seemed to cast out and everything for us. But... It almost looks like there are some, like, survival mechanics in place. Like, the bottom left there, there's, like, energy, food, health? And I don't know what the, like, the last one is. I don't know if that's, like, daylight or battery light? But, okay, yeah, so it's definitely nibbling on it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to set the hook. It, like, leaped me all of a sudden into having already cast the line out and all this is set up. Okay, well. Uh, Crucian Carp, I do have to say, this is a pretty nice inspection of the fish models. Like, one of the problems with the angler is you don't really get to see the fish all that well aside from in the journal or that, but... Okay, there we go. Now I can... Actually, I don't think I've ever used a rod where it's, like, no reel to it. It is basically just a rod and line and hook to this. Oh, yeah, so far we'll just keep trying this out for a while, see how it goes. Okay, so... Just trying to think of what I need to watch for, for like... So I'm kind of waiting for it to... There we go. That's it. And yeah, what do we got here? A common roach! Yeah, I'm guessing this is probably more what the fish is supposed to look like with the fins, because I feel like the super bright red in the angler almost feels like artificial and highlighted. This, though, where there's like a varying tint along it, I think feels a bit more proper. Okay, so we can change bait. We've got maggots. And the power meter here actually does seem to cast and have an impact on how far you cast out, which is an improvement already from the angler. My, uh, so far, pretty simple, straightforward. I do like how you have a little bit of a visual indicator. Oh, not sure why the line's freaking out there. Okay, now we'll go for a spinning rod, but I do like there's a little bit more of a visual indicator than the big, like, 
flash on the screen strike or whatever. It feels a little less arcadey this way. Okay, so. Everything froze up a moment. I'm hoping it's just like, there we go. Oh, okay, that's why everything like, oh, I wonder if, like, the reason this isn't lit up is because that's like not our castable area. Okay, real close, so you'll have... Oh, I didn't even realize it was hooked on there, because, like, I thought you'd have to, like, set the hook. You do have, like... I don't know, I feel like that's a little bit of an odd... Maybe this is, like, meant to be European perch, given Russian fishing, but... I don't know, it feels like it looks a little strange from perch I've seen. Kind of chunkier. But we'll toss it back in. I was kind of expecting there to be, like, you have to set the hook as you're, like, bringing it in slowly. Okay, the tension... Ooh, careful. Yeah, but I want to be careful because I don't want to... Have our line snap. Easy there. Yeah, so far... I mean, I'm hoping it has more depth into its uh, other systems, because, like, trying to change the angle of the rod doesn't really feel like it does much. And this is very similar right now to uh, the anglers reeling in. I just don't know if there's a way to, like, increase or decrease the drag. But... Seems like it... Ah, we'll just keep going like this, because this is just what it says to be doing. Let me see if I can try pumping and bringing it in. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like this is a problem the angler has had with it, too, is the fish... They never seem to run out of their energy, do they? Oh, I can even walk. Oh, well, that's one thing that's different, is I could actually go walk, well, try to walk, and... I don't know if it's, like, bugged out or something, because, yeah, not. it's like we're not really even making any ground here, so I don't know if it's supposed to be... the line's supposed to snap, or we're just supposed to stay at this for, like, how it's been going. Okay, there we go. If he's on his side, that might be a good sign he's finally out. So maybe they, there is an energy to the fish as well. Just seemed like it was going for like quite a while before. We got him tuckered out. Although even now, it's still... Not really changing up or anything, is it? Come on. There we go. Now it's coming in. Looks like a northern pike. There we go. Yeah, big old northern pike. Snakehead. Well, no, not snakehead. I'm trying to remember what they're... There's a term for them, but I can't... I don't think it was snakehead. 
Oh, okay, that was just the tutorial. I guess we'll see what there really is in store for the game now, but... Yeah, it seemed like that one was an awful long time for a tutorial just to teach you along, and it wasn't really that much mechanic-wise to that. So hopefully it's more of the surrounding aspects, there might be a little bit more depth to them than the angler had. It is also a tutorial, so it could only have some pretty simple stuff to it, but let's just see as we go along what else it like wants to do or introduce us to. Okay, so welcome me. Welcome to Russian Fishing 4. Take your time to explore diverse water bodies and catch unforgettable fish. Discover new equipment, specialize your character while participating in exciting tournaments, or just enjoy fishing with friends and sharing your experience with the community. Mute the water's edge, tight lines. Okay. And that is basically it. So it's already literally tossed us right in. So we've got... Uh, retrieve, accelerate, retrieve, open, close, reel, retrieval speeds, friction break, line clip, snag released. Uh, there's quite a few things there. I'm actually not sure what I want to start with. Fish market. Okay, so I guess if you want, you can sell your catches in that in order to do stuff there. Um. Okay, maybe I'll just put that away. There's a grocery store. Okay, this is where... Looks like this is all baits and stuff. And... Drinks. I guess if you wanted to, you could. And medicine. Okay, so the grocery store. In the store you can buy everything you need for fishing. Prices and product assortment vary on different water bodies. If the item you're looking for is not available, look for it on, water, on other water bodies or wait for the next delivery. Note, there are many products you can use only after achieving a certain level and getting the appropriate ability. Use manufacturer filters, find the product group, press product with that... And proceed to use a guide on the game website. Okay, so there's that. Uh, the fish market. Selling the catch at the fish market is the main source of income in the game. The price for the fish species may vary depending on the water body. Select the desired number of fish, after which the button sell will become available. Selection, press left mouse button. You can select several fish by using control or shift. For convenience, select all and deselect all are located above sell. Necessary, use filters. So that's that. Okay. Uh, the boat station. Tickets for boat rental are sold at the boat station. So, yeah, if you want to, you could take out a boat. Uh, we've also got this little shack here, though it doesn't look like there's anything we can do with this shack. Um, okay, is there anything else around here? Uh, we'll check whatever... Oh, drink vending machine Angora, a cafe. In the cafe, you can sell the catch by filling the order for fish supply. Selling fish in a cafe is much more profitable than selling it at a fish market. Drop in the cafe more often, thus you can make some good money. Cafe issues order only for the fish caught in the current water body. To fill the order, you must provide the fish appropriate weight in the quantity specified in the order. The order is valid for a limited time. Rotten fish is not accepted in the cafe. Okay. So these are all the things that if we catch, we could sell here. A fair little bit of variety for the first map itself. Um, there's a vending machine. That is the fish market. Uh, ATM. Exchange gold coins, filler coins to the ATM, which is basically real money for in-game money. I've got New Year's Fair. Okay, that's just another store, which... He's a fair bit of silver for a few things, from the looks of it. Uh, we've got the fair, which is a little bit of just in stuff there. A hardware store. Okay, so there's a few things here. Now, I'm not going to buy anything yet. I'll probably just try doing a little bit of fishing to see. But I kind of thought it would go into detail on a few more aspects. Like, I, there's supposed to be, like, lure making or bait digging? Tackle store. In the store, you can buy everything you need for fishing. Prices and product assortment vary on water bodies. If the item you're looking for is not available... Okay, that's basically just kind of what we've seen already. Ooh, although, like, float fishing start is 45 coins just for that. Yeah, I'm going to just keep what I've already got... Oh, new message received. Uh, hot food. 
Oh. I don't know if I spend any money for that or not. It looks like... Oh, good lord. What are these messages? Okay, getting introductions already. Again, I'd like to try to just close this stuff and get a chance on my own for trying it. So let me just get down to the water's edge and just try a little bit. Guess, yeah, I thought maybe go a little bit more into a few other aspects, but I guess not. Okay, well, let's see here. Gadwar B boat. Uh, I'm not going to get in it. I don't know if that is actually something I'd be able to, like, just do on my own or not. But let's just try a little bit of free fishing and see. Okay, so I guess I can adjust the friction brake with the middle mouse wheel. No, oh, and I already caught something. What do we bring in? Ah, uh, the common roach. Oh, and a couple of achievements there. Okay, so that's just a little bit of the stuff there. We'll keep that. I mean, we'll just try a few casts out. And then bottom left. Okay, I guess that's our level there. Let's just see what else we bring in. Yeah, it feels kind of weird not setting the hook at all when you're trying to, like, spin cast. I don't know if that's actually how it would go, and just because of the, like, force of you reeling in against the fish bite would naturally set it or not. Let's just try that out there. Yeah, just try bringing it in over and over again and see. Oh, there we go. We got something on. Let's just bring it right in. We've got a perch. Okay, we'll keep you. Toss way out again if we can. I do like this does let you know if the reel is closing or not as well, because that's one of the things for Call of the Wild the Angler. I don't think it really lets you know when your reel closed like that nice click or the notification of it. Let's just keep reeling and see. Well, nothing on that one, but we'll just try again. Um, does it... Okay, it does give me a few different things. I wonder if these are like limited time use. Like if you do hit a snag, will you lose that piece of equipment and you have to buy completely new? It sounded like that might be a thing about uh, Russian Fishing 4 that's included with it. When they want, when it mentioned that this was going to be a hardcore simulator, they do mean that. It's going to be just like real life, you can lose your gear. If you like snag or that. At least I think you will. Let me just try taking this to the fish market and see. Uh, actually, no, I wanted to go to the cafe, didn't I? So I think this is where it said you should try taking it to first. Uh, do -do. So I've caught what so far? Um, okay, these are all only premium subscriber for the other locations. Actually... I don't know if I've caught anything for here yet. Let me check my fish keeper. Yeah, it's been two perch and a roach, which is not at all here. Okay, well, maybe they, the orders change over with enough time. Yeah, select all, sell that. So that's for 11 cents. Or 0.11 silver coins. So yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those games you're going to need to spend a lot of time at if you're going to be free to play for it. I was kind of curious about some of the other features in store. Like, not so much there. It's more the hardware store, because I thought there was something where you could, like... 
Uh, portable shovel produced by Fiskarn, made of high quality steel, compact this easy transport for those who go hiking or fishing. Yeah, hardware store. In the store, you can buy everything you need for fishing. Prices and product assortment vary on different water body. Oh, okay, that's about just kind of the same. Uh, there are some things out of stock. There are some materials like matches. Although it's nice to see like some of these uh, consume stuff are a lot cheaper. This car in a tea kettle. Just kind of thinking the shovel in case I wanted to like go finding bait, but... Maybe I'll save that for next weekend. I'll just do a little bit more fishing, see what we catch, and what else we bring in this episode. Then maybe I'll also try changing up our bait, too. Yeah, nothing was really interested on that one. Okay, now we'll keep the rod type, the what we do have. This is... Actually, I'm not sure what one this is. It looks like... It could be one of the... any one of these three. Okay, well there's a change out there. Let's just try a cast or two. But I really do get, uh, like, the Hunter Classic sort of vibes from this game. Where it feels like it's going to be one of those ones... You can get the premium, you can get all the stuff to help you go through a lot better or faster for it. You can definitely... Well, I won't say definitely play free-to-play, but there is the option to if you do have the time to put in for it. And because it's a free-to-play game, that is probably where... There's going to be a lot of grind, just to try to encourage more so to use some of the microtransaction stuff. But we'll just give this a few weekends, try to try out what we can. I don't know if I'll be able to get any different rods. It might take a little while farming up, or grinding out points to see. Oh, there we go, we got something on. Looks like another perch. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's quite a few things there. And let's toss that out. And just keep going. Okay, nothing on that try, but we'll just give another go. We'll try over there. And just try to relax, take it easy. And I'm guessing you could pr you might be able to go across the entire, like, lake shore trying different spots. Because the fact that you do have them, uh, you can walk around and even actually walk around with, like, a fish on the line is quite a bit different than how the angler just, like, stuck you in place. I kind of thought maybe there would be a little bit of you having to work the angle of the rod to try to help with, like, tension or that. Maybe there is, and it just is a little bit more complex than the tutorial want to include for itself. I'll just kind of keep going along and see. Okay, nothing really coming in on this selection, so I think I'll change out for another one of our uh, lure setups we've got. No, that's right. Not you. I want that. 
Oh, let's try that one. Okay, and we'll just slowly bring in and see. Yeah, maybe we'll just try landing one more fish, and then we'll end our first episode here with it. Oh, there we go. Looks like another perch. Yeah. Okay. And toss out. And let's work at bringing it in. Although I do see on the bottom there... I wonder if that's, like, how much uh, strength our line has left in it. Like, there's the tension bar at the bottom, then there's a number of symbols to the top right of that. And I see that slowly that string one, or the real one, is going down. And there's that one done. And yeah, maybe we'll end this first episode right here. So thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. We're just getting a chance to check it out, see how it feels see what all the recommendations were about and how it goes from there. It does look like there's a number of things like, oh yeah, there's some stuff to get into, although we'll check that out in time. The character possesses a set of skills, basic ones to improve when fishing with corresponding tackles, additional ones to improve during crafting. Here's a list of all character skills, degree of their development, number of received abilities, and number of points for improving the abilities. Yes, yeah, so there's things like cooking, there is bait harvesting, uh, making lures, making ground bait. I'm kind of surprised it never went into any of these, although it looks like there are only a few styles of fishing for uh, Russian fishing for, at least through here, float, spin, and bottom. Although, now only 1.2 progress through that. Oh, well, it says I've unlocked... Oh, okay, yeah, there's a lot there. What about harvesting baits? Yeah, it's gonna... There's a lot of depth here to eventually get into. But for now, we'll just end this episode here with taking that little preview. Thank you guys for joining me. Until I see you in the next video, hunt, er, in, until I see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.